Physical developer method for detection of latent fingerprints is a technique for processing fingerprints on crime scene evidence which is porous in nature. Such crime scene evidence has always posed a problem because if a composition is sprayed on it for a long time the item tends to get degraded. Physical developer method tends to solve this problem. It can develop fingerprints on a very large number of porous items including paper, cardboard, clay items and even currency notes. The method relies on a redox reaction. Silver nitrate is the main ingredient which is used in preparing the composition for physical developer. The other ingredient is mohar salt or any other salt containing ferrous ions. The ferrous ions react with silver nitrate and in this process silver nitrate is reduced to metallic silver and ferrous ions are oxidized to ferric ions. The metallic silver gets deposited on the ridges and dark grey colored fingerprints develop. And on most of the porous items which are white in color, a beautiful contrast is obtained. The prints are clear and visible even to the naked eye. The problem is that this redox reaction has to be carried out at a specific pH. And to maintain that pH, generally citric acid is used. The metallic silver which is formed in the course of the redox reaction is colloidal in nature. If the concentration of silver exceeds a particular point, a particular threshold I should be saying, then these particles collase, they come together and they get precipitated. Under these circumstances, the fingerprints do not develop. To avoid such an eventuality, what is done is that a cationic detergent is also added. This detergent imparts a small positive charge to the reduced silver particles. Because of the charge, silver particles do not come close to each other. Rather, they repel each other and in this way, they continue to remain in the colloidal form. The physical developer reagent once again tags the insoluble components like lipids, insoluble proteins and fatty acids in the sweat. This means that even if the crime scene evidence is moist, it has been sprayed with water or it has been lifted from an outdoor crime scene under rainy conditions, still the fingerprints can be developed. The process is a bit lengthy. It requires a large number of reagents. Timing has to be very accurate. It requires stirring. It requires agitation. So one has to be very careful while developing the fingerprints. For this reason, the technique is not very popular. But on the other hand, as I said earlier, there are very few techniques which work on porous items. Silver nitrate alone also works, but it actually darkens the background. And because of that, most of the times it is very difficult to visualize latent fingerprints which have been developed on porous items with the aid of silver nitrate alone. But with this technique, the physical developer technique, once the fingerprints develop, they are very sharp, they are dark in color and they can be easily visualized. Moreover, this technique does not require any specialized equipment or any costly instrument. Of course, the handling has to be quite careful and it requires specialized training for about two or three days to train a person to develop fingerprints by physical developer method. Dear students, after studying this module, you will be able to know that physical developer composition detects latent fingerprints on a wide range of porous items. The methodology and mechanism by which physical developer detects fingerprints. And lastly, you'll learn 
the merits and demerits of physical developer technique of visualizing latent fingerprints. The physical developer technique is a means to detect fingerprints on porous items including paper articles, clay-based products and adhesive tapes. One of the ingredients of the physical developer composition is silver nitrate which during processing of fingerprints is reduced to finely divided metallic silver. The technique derives its name from the photographic physical developer which during processing of film roll undergoes a similar reduction reaction. The physical developer reveals the fingerprints as dark grey or black images due to the adsorption of metallic silver particles on the fatty acid and lipid components of sweat residue. On porous materials, a reaction occurs between the lipids, fats, oils and waxes found in sebaceous sweat and the silver-based liquid reagent known as physical developer to produce a silver-grey deposit visible to the naked eye. Since these sebaceous components are not soluble in water, the physical developer latent print development technique is particularly useful on wet paper or paper that has previously been wet. When the amino acids in fingerprints have been washed away or fail to react with ninhydrin 1, 2, indianadione or DFO processing with physical developer may still produce identifiable latents. However, physical developer is time consuming, expensive, destructive and has a short shelf life. Therefore, one should only utilize physical developer as a final process in circumstances where it will be the most effective. If the item has been wet, then water soluble component of the latent fingerprint deposit will no longer be present. In such a case, physical developer will be the method of choice. In other cases, techniques that can be applied include DFO, ninhydrin, and metal salt treatment. Physical developer can then be applied at the end of the sequence. Now let us see the mechanism of physical developer method. The physical developer composition is a mixture of the following four components. Number one, an aqueous solution of silver nitrate. Number two, an iron and iron redox couple. Number three, an acid buffer, usually citric acid. Number four, a ketonic detergent, usually n amine acetate. The iron ions reduce silver ions to metallic silver and simultaneously get oxidized to iron ions. This is an equilibrium reaction. Due to the reversible nature of this reaction, there are chances that iron may reoxidize metallic silver to silver ions. Now the problem may be averted by adding citric acid to the fingerprint composition. You see, citric acid complexes with iron ions and removes these from the equilibrium system, thereby pushing the reaction in forward direction. It also brings down the pH of the composition. Optimum results are obtained when the physical developer composition is mildly acidic. Now the finely divided metallic silver particles formed as a result of the redox reaction, this is shown in the figure, are colloidal in nature. It is in this state that these adhere to the fatty acid 
and lipid constituents of latent fingerprint and visualize the impression. However, if the concentration of metallic silver increases beyond a limit, the particles coalesce and precipitate out. The colloidal nature of silver particles is lost and the quality of developed fingerprints is lowered. This problem is taken care of by incorporating a ketanic detergent, usually n amine acetate in the fingerprint composition. Now the cations engulf silver particles imparting a positive charge onto these. The positively charged particles repel each other, thereby averting the possibility of their coming close and condensing into a precipitate. This phenomenon is called peptization and is symbolically. Now let us discuss pre-treatment of latent prints. The physical developer technique works very well on paper and paper products. The finished paper usually incorporates alkaline fillers and binders. These react with the physical developer composition and alter the concentration of its ingredients. It is therefore pertinent to neutralize the alkaline content of paper before attempting to develop fingerprints. This is carried out by giving an acid pre-wash to the paper sample. Malic acid, the structure of which in the figure is used for this purpose. Now malic acid or cis-butene dioic acid is an organic compound that is a dicarboxylic acid, a molecule with two carbolic groups. Its chemical formula is HO2CCHCCHCO2H. Malic acid is the cis isomer of butene dioic acid, whereas fumaric acid is the trans isomer. It is mainly used as a precursor to fumaric acid and relative to its parent malic anhydride malic acid has a few applications. A solution containing 25 gram of malic acid in 1 liter of water is prepared. The paper item is dipped in the solution for 5 to 10 minutes till the bubbles cease to evolve. Thereafter, the procedure described in next section for development of fingerprints is followed. Dear student, here we will see the methodology in detail. The following three solutions are required for detecting fingerprints by physical developer method. Number one, solution A or the detergent solution. It is prepared by dissolving 0.23 N-dodicylamine acetate in 40 ml distilled water. Solution B or the redox solution. It is prepared by adding successively 30 gram iron nitrate, 80 gram ammonium iron sulfate which is known as Mohr salt and 20 gram citric acid to 900 ml distilled water. Then solution C or the silver nitrate solution. It is prepared by dissolving 10 gram of silver nitrate in 50 ml of distilled water. The solution is stored in a dark place. The working solution is prepared as follows. Solution A is added to solution B. The mixture is stirred for about 2 minutes. Thereafter, solution C is added and stirring is continued for another 1 to 2 minutes. The working solution is added to a glass tray. The tray is mounted on an electric shaker 
Now, the object bearing the fingerprints is immersed in the working solution, which is then gently agitated by the shaker for about 15 minutes. Dark grey or black colored fingerprints is now developed. The object is thoroughly washed by immersing it in distilled water for 5 minutes. The washing operation is repeated twice more, each time with a fresh batch of distilled water. Now, let us see the post-treatment of developed prints. The fingerprints processed by physical developer composition may be enhanced by post-treating these with a 2-5% to solution of sodium hypochlorite which is also known as NaOCl. The silver particles adsorbed on the fatty acid and lipid constituents of latent impressions are oxidized to silver oxide which is generally known by name Ag2O by the hypochlorite ions. The enhancement of developed fingerprints comes about by a twofold action. Firstly, silver oxide is darker in shade as compared to finely divided metallic silver. Hence, ridge detail appears more pronounced. Secondly, sodium hypochlorite has bleaching properties as a result of which it lightens the background color of the surface in question, markedly increasing the contrast. Now, let us see the assessment of physical developer method. The physical developer composition detects latent fingerprints on the following items like latex and rubber gloves, sticky and non-sticky sides of adhesive tapes, raw wood, unglazed porcelain, rayon or and nylon clothing and different variety of papers including newspapers, photostat papers and ruled papers. The composition tags the fatty acid and lipid components of sweat residue for visualizing fingerprints. Since these biomolecules are insoluble in water, the physical developer technique lifts fingerprints impinged on moist items. It also develops fingerprints on surfaces which have been exposed to intense sunlight for several hours. The technique presents some problems as well. It is expensive and time consuming. The working solution has a relatively short shelf life. The fingerprint processing procedure is destructive and leaves permanent stain on documents. Now, my dear student, let us see a case study. Physical developer has been used to visualize latent prints on porous materials since the 1970s. Recently, two local cases re-established the importance of this method. In one case, papers were found out in the desert after one month. DFO and anhydrin produced negative result. But processing with physical developer yielded 24 comparable prints. Paper evidence in another case had been placed in storage for 24 years. Again, ninhydrin developed negative results. However, six visible prints were observed after utilizing lab prepared physical developer. The ultimate goal of this article was to remind investigators about the benefits of taking that extra step whether one chooses to purchase the kit for convenience or the individual chemical for cost efficiency.
physical developer could reveal the one latent that solves a case. Now my dear students, let us summarize this chapter. So after reading this chapter, we have learned that physical developer is a sensitive method of detecting fingerprints on porous items. It is specifically useful when fingerprints are required to be visualized on articles which have been deliberately or accidentally vetted. One more thing that we have learned is that under those conditions, the amino acid constituents of sweat residue are easily washed out and ninhydrin method fails. Nevertheless, physical developer yields results. Then, when the amino acids in fingerprints have been washed away or failed to react with ninhydrine 1, 2 in dandion or DFO, processing with physical developer may still produce identifiable latents. However, physical developer is time consuming, expensive, destructive and has a short shelf life. Then, we have learned that the physical developer technique works well on paper and on paper products. The finished paper usually incorporates alkaline fillers and binders. These react with the physical developer composition and alter the concentration of its ingredient. Malic acid or cisbutene dioic acid is an organic compound that is a dicarbolic acid, a molecule with two carboxyl group. Then we have learned that the fingerprints processed by physical developer composition may be enhanced by post-treating these with a 2 to 5 percent solution of sodium hypochlorite which is generally known as NaOCl. Then physical developer has been used to visualize latent prints on porous materials since the 1970s. Then we have learned that the sensitivity of the composition may be enhanced by pre-treatment and or post-treatment methodologies. Lastly, we have learned from this chapter that however the requirement of a relatively large number of reagents make the technique cumbersome and expensive.